One of my favorite saints is St. Benedict Joseph Lebray. You may never have heard of him. He certainly isn't one of our more well-known saints. He lived in the 1700s and he was born in France. And his great aspiration was to join a religious order. And he tried all sorts of different orders, including the Franciscans and the Trappists. He was consistently asked to leave because he didn't fit into community life. Many people speculate that he suffered from some form of schizophrenia, which at that time would not have been understood or even uh, diagnosed. So he becomes a mendicant. He becomes this, this traveling beggar who speaks to people about God, um, begs his food, often sleeps outside. Many people just thought him strange or even possessed of some spirit, but very, very holy man, very holy man. Ends up in Rome and um, spreads devotion to uh, the Blessed Sacrament and dies in Rome in his 30s, uh, canonized the saint. And he's a patron of people who struggle with mental illness. And um, something that became very clear to me as a young priest was how many people there are in the church and in the world who really struggle with mental illness. You know, we think of those with chronic depression. We think of people with borderline personalities or schizophrenia, all, all the different forms that, that can afflict our minds and our psyches. And many people who struggle with mental illness are drawn to the church, and rightfully so, looking for God, looking for healing, looking for a place that they can call their home, um, their, their spiritual place. And how important it is that, that we welcome them, that we love them, that we receive them. Um, there's a unique form of spirituality uh, for people that struggle with mental illness. And the challenge is how to integrate um, that struggle into the spiritual life, into prayer, into um, their understanding of God's love for them. So I just make this video to say to all the people in our diocese, especially who struggle with any form of mental illness, that you are an integral part of the church, that I pray for you, that Christ loves you. And it's precisely in your struggle that both the cross and the resurrection of Christ is, is made manifest. So never give up on God, never give up on yourself. Um, struggle to always live in hope that even in the darkest moments of life, um, God is there. God loves you and will never abandon you. Something that gives me great hope and light is Jesus' promise at the very end of the gospel when he says, Behold, I am with you always, yes, even to the end of time. I cling to that promise. I cling to that conviction, especially uh, when life is hard and it can be difficult and dark. In those moments, uh, the Lord gives us light. So we pray to St. Benedict Joseph Lebray, who is often misunderstood and rejected uh, because of his mental illness. Uh, we ask his prayers that, that we all find healing and peace, even in our limitations and our struggles. St. Benedict Joseph Lebray, pray for us.